California Living, living just enough Living just for the city Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City And today we're going to be talking about Gervonta Davis and 6 9 Um, if you guys didn't know 6 9 was at the club in Europe He was celebrating his I guess his current or his ex I don't know if they are current or ex or whatever, but basically he was celebrating uh, Jade's birthday. I don't know if they're together or are they not together because they keep breaking up and getting back together. But um, he was celebrating Jade's birthday and uh, Gervonta Davis was there. Now, I'm going to give you a little background story on Gervonta Davis. Obviously, he's a famous boxer. Um, he's Floyd Mayweather's prodigy. Um, haven't lost a fight yet. But if y'all didn't know, Gervonta Davis runs with Meek in them. Like, that's kind of like his clique. Oh, it's not really his clique, but he's close to Meek. Him and him and Meek are his homies. Obviously, if y'all don't know, Meek don't like 6 9 at all. So, Gervonta Davis, when he was at the club, apparently, uh, from this is the sources that's coming from DJ Guy Academics, his sources, he says that... Um, Gervonta Davis was trying to go up into uh, 6 9 section. He went to one of the security guards that I guess he knew because um, the security guard had um, secured something. He had like met him at the Barclays or something like that. So he kind of knows him. And he went to the security guard and was like, hey, bro, um, I'm not, I ain't got no beef with 6 9 Let me just go up there. 6 9 looked at him. Or the security guard looked up at 6 9 6 9 looked back and he was like, no, nah, don't let him in. And uh, he told him, nah, bro, you can't go in. So I guess um, he must have felt embarrassed. So Gervonta Davis went back up to the old boy. And he was like, hey, bro, um, I know you. Let me go in. I'm about to go beat. I'm about to knock him out. And then blah, blah, blah. I guess he tried to pass through. And Gervonta Davis supposedly got choked up. That's what 6 9 saying. He's saying there's a video out floating of uh Javante Davis getting choked out. So we have yet I have yet to see it. If it was here to be honest, you know how my video go. I usually just do a clip. But if I seen Javante Davis get choked out, I probably would put that up on my YouTube. I'm not even gonna lie. That'd be a, a, a video itself. The boxing king getting choked out by a security guard. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna post that. But that's the you know that's the mishaps. Just to um interject because usually, you know, I'm big, you know, I usually interject and talk to y'all about what's going on. But I'm gonna be honest. Um, six nine is very entertaining. Like, in all honesty, he's a he's a whole character. Um, rapping career, garbage. Well, I'm, oh, I ain't gonna say garbage. He's not someone I listen to. Never did listen to him. I'm not a six nine hater. Um, I don't respect that. I don't. I kind of don't respect him. Like, after he did what he did with Nipsey, with the whole, you know, trying to get clout thing, like, that wasn't cool, but, I mean, I ain't got nothing against him, but, to be honest, he's an, entertain he's an entertainer, so, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I don't know how he's going to survive without these uh these bundles that he's been trying to do, but his career is, very, is, in, in a, is in a very interesting place right now. He's been quiet, sales ain't been going up. And he keeps on harping over this, uh, you know, this this going to jail sentence thing and him snitching. So I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for him, but I hope that he picks his battles correctly and going up against the middleweight champion who never lost a fight. Not the best. Not I wouldn't do that. I just I just wouldn't do that. But anyway, I hope you guys like. Um, like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!